What's up, Tornish? It's your boy Albie, and we're back with another video. So in today's video, we're gonna be like, basically, I know this was long awaited. This was long awaited. You know, I'm just gonna scale out the builds for y'all. I'm gonna scale out the builds because, you know, I'm just gonna make a build tier list. So this is what this video is gonna be about. <clears throat> for everybody that keeps on asking me about builds, what should they run, this, that, third, bro, listen, this is gonna answer everybody's question for everybody asking me those questions in the comments. I cannot answer those questions because, bro, it's gonna really just be a paragraph and, you know, I feel like it's really just based off how you play, um, how, you, how you go about things. And, you know, I do have time magic here. And based off how time magic is going to work, I'm going to go ahead and make a build on my in my head that I'm going for right after this video. This update probably be the end of today. It's probably going to be at the end of today. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know, make that video for y'all. But we're going to get straight into it. The first thing we're going to do is the meta that everybody knows, the one that the one that everybody knows. no matter that over, that everybody knows so we're gonna go um where is it we're gonna do heavenly restricted so heavenly restricted at s tier with healing yeah with, with healing and then we're gonna do what we do all right we got and now we got race and then for the race, this this is typically what everybody be be having. I'm gonna go Stonekin. It's what every I'll be seeing people with. So this right here is a this right here is a strong build. I'm not gonna lie, especially if you're trying to do like close range combat. This is a strong build because Stonekin gives more. It um reduces blunt damage. It gives you more HP. You're able to heal, so it allows you to like go in like go into your opponents and like really fight fight them so this is a s tier build now for this is what i'd be seeing some people run because you know they obviously run out of spins but i'll call this a like a, a d tier build is they, they would they would have heavenly restricted healing regular for leaf healing is pretty great too but healing regular and then they would try to use no let me not say that let me not say that i'll put this right here i'll put it right here and then um this right here, they'll have this this cat race. Lindori, all right, Lindori race. I call I I only put it here because, <clears throat> cause you're a little softer, bro. And honestly, if people hit you while you're trying to heal, it literally knocks out the healing, so it's pointless. And you actually have to go close range. You do get the extra dexterity with this, but I don't know if it's really worth, you know, especially when it's a, there's a cap. So there's a soft cap. So I don't know if it's really worth it at the end of the day, but this is a build I'd be seeing people run that I can also run for Heavenly Restriction. <clears throat> and then we're going to go to S tier build with Heavenly Restriction right now. So this S tier build right here is one I've tested for myself with Heavenly Restriction. You can go, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Blood Magic. You can go Blood Magic, but you, you are going to need this race, sadly. You're going to need the Mythic race. You need the mythic race. This is an S tier. This is an S tier build right here. Blood magic, Mahari, and rest heavenly restricted, broken. And then you should always base your builds off of your trait. No matter what, you should always base your build off of your trait. Like it doesn't matter. But with heavenly restricted, you're you're heavenly restricted to like a lot of um, magics and stuff. So with this build right here, you should be able to use all your spells, all your magics. You should be great. You know, but you um, with the Hydra, you'd be able to use it only once. But I'd say like max out your Hydra to where it stays it stays out for like a very long time, and like the person has to deal with you, and they have to deal with your Hydra at the same time, and you're doing a crazy amount of damage. So this right here is honestly like a SS tier. It's like a SS tier. So let me put a double S right here. Let me put a double S right here, and let's put S right here. Right. So this is a SS tier for me. For me, this 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 seems very perfect. This is a build that I was going to run, but you know, time magic is coming out, and I want to see what that's like. Ooh, Ali. All right, and the next the next that you can run with this, right, that with the heavenly restricted, you can go. Right, this is another mythic build. You can do you can do these both ways though. You can do these both ways. You can you can either. You can either run healing with this and just be toxic, completely toxic. Like you're healing, bro. This heals you back to full health. 
It heals you back to full health. And out of combat, you heal very fast. And you can use healing on that too. This is SS tier, bro. Jesus, you'd be so annoying to fight. Like I don't like I don't think you understand how annoying you'd be to fight. You'd be mad annoying to fight, bro. Like every second you're healing, bro. Like I would have to apply pressure. So I basically I'd have to come to you and like apply pressure so you don't heal, but you also have the upper hand because you have heavily restricted. Think about it like that. So this this is a this is all around builds, bro. Like so hopefully I'm answering your questions, you know? Um for and I'm not gonna lie, I'm only using the best traits, which is monstrous reserves, love by mana, and then one more. Where is it? Do I not have it here? I could have sworn I put it here. Could have sworn I put it here. And then noble. I, I, I could have sworn I had noble. All right, I guess I don't have noble. All right, all right, all right, all right. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Another race that you can use with heavenly restricted is high elf and i know a lot of y'all be like why um it gives you a little bit of more mana you know it gives you a little bit of breathe room so if you if you don't get mahari and you have high elf you can try you can try to still use this hybrid build right here but it's gonna it's not gonna be it's not gonna be that great anymore so it's gonna be an s tier because you probably might not still be able to use the hydra but you still be able to use your spells more than once you know this is like a this is like a bootleg version of the Mahari version that I showed y'all. So I can go ahead and do that. But that's enough for Heavenly Restricted. I think Heavenly Restricted is probably gonna end up being good with Lightning also, because Lightning has a lot of stun. So you know what I'm saying? I would say I would say pair Heavenly Restricted with Lightning. And especially Elf. You can do Elf Mad. You can become a high uh, high Elf with Lightning. Cause now you do you you get twelve percent more damage, uh, more more magic damage all around, and honestly with high um with lightning and heavenly restricted you're gonna be, this is another hybrid build that you can run. You're gonna be doing a decent amount of damage and a lot of stun, and especially if you're stunning them, you're using your M ones. This is completely good, and they have the lightning the lightning form to which you're not gonna be able to use because you obviously have no mana, so it doesn't matter if you have a four leaf or not. But you can still run it for PvP. Alright. We're gonna move on to the next. If there's something I didn't cover, you can go ahead and you know talk about it. Let me see high arc real quick. Okay. Oh, another thing I can run with Heavenly Restricted. I can run yeah well actually I can. High arc, you know what's crazy? If you get high arc, just spin off of it, bro. Just spin off of it. Cause there's there's no there's no strength there's no strength builds in the game currently so there's no strength builds so I can't really speak on strength builds um hybrid elf hi if you uh, there's a lot of people on hybrid elf I honestly it's a lot of people on hybrid elf you get two intelligence two dexterity you can also make a hybrid build with this and you get five percent piercing and slashing damage and you get five percent mana so you can create a hybrid build with heavenly restriction so I'd say. It's not gonna be that great because you're not getting that much for it, but you can make this. You can go like this, you can go healing, you can go you can go healing, you can go earth, go lightning, you can perhaps go flame. I wouldn't advise it though, but you can go flame. But the best build for flame though, for flame for flame magic, if you have dark, you do a decent amount of damage. I would really put this at S tier, especially with the new move that they're adding for flame in update one. I would say to add um dark elf right we're gonna do dark elf we're gonna do flame because dark elf it increases the flame and i'm gonna tell you by how much right now it increases bro flame every frame damage by 25 more 20 25 percent more damage to all your flame moves all fire damage all fire damage 25 percent more damage do you understand that like jesus and it's a percentage so you're doing a crazy amount of damage bro and then the race can vary. It could really be anything. It could you could go for more mana. Wait, I'm I'm bugging. Her. I'm bugging. I'm saying race. Sorry. You can go for you can go for more mana. You can go for more mana. Both of these are mana based, so you can go for more mana, right? You can go for a percentage of mana. You can go heavenly restricted, but you're gonna be obviously you're not gonna be able to use half of your moves, but you can also do that and still do a decent amount of damage. So like with this build right here, you can really go any of these any of these traits it's really all up to you it's 
it's really all up to you at that point. Another another build that you can do is you can, well, a lot of people have been asking me what build I'm running right now. I'm currently running Mahari. I'm running Great Tree Magic. This is a S tier build. And I'm running Monstrous Reserves. This is my build right now. This is an S tier build. With this, and it's four leaf. So I got healing. I get healing with my magic, which increases my defense when I stand in there. When I stand in it, my health, it just gets hard for you to kill me. Like, I, it increases my defense. It replenishes my stamina. It deplenishes. It drains your stamina. It drains your stamina. My race debuffs you. My magic debuffs you. So you're doing less damage off the rip. So, like, if there's a lot of perks to this build. This is like a triple S, like, tier build. So if you want to try to go for my build, you can go ahead, but you will need a four leaf clover to really push it over the edge. Right now, currently, I've everybody I fought with this mad with this build, I've for sure like pieced them up. I ain't gonna cap to you. I ain't gonna cap to you. But everybody that's been asking me for my build, there you go. That's the build right there. And then for love by mana, love by mana is like you can really go. You can do anything with this. You can you can go anywhere with this. Anywhere. With love by mana, you can use any magic you want, really. But the I would say go for like the best magics for PvP, and then the best magics I would say for PvP would have to be flame, um, world tree, um, void, um, blood. These are PvP magics. Lightning. Yeah, I'd say go go to PvP with this, and then you can go love by mana and then for race race doesn't really matter though you see what i'm saying you could you could go dex you can go let uh, lutharian to go dex a um, little bit of dexterity and speed it doesn't matter you can do i'm gonna put it up there though you can do you can do mahari for the debuffs you can do rayuman for the heals while you're in pvp um you can do stone kin if you want extra, like, just extra health and stuff. And, you know, you can't get um, Ryuman. Stone King could be an alternative. Blah, 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 blah. It could be your second option. Let me just say that. It could be your second option. You can go for that. Oh, yeah. Wind wind magic is actually pretty good, too. Four Leaf Wind magic is actually really good. Really good. Don't don't sleep don't sleep on this magic right here, for sure. But I'm probably going to end the video soon because I am I am reaching my peak my peak um time on video but yeah i think that's it for builds right now though these are like these are like the best builds and you can like you can just you know go through them and then if i remove this right it would be the same thing for monstrous reserves and now i, I know a lot of people want to know if monstrous reserves is better than love by mana currently it's not but they i think they do plan a buff it in the future so they bet they, they plan a buff percentage so Hopefully it gets better in the future, but currently right now, Love by Mana is still better. But I'm not spinning off of Monsters Reserve, so yeah. Won't keep that though. But that's 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 literally the tier list for for builds. So if you would if if the ones that I typically I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a final list of the ones I'd be seeing people build, the ones I'd be seeing people run. I'll go ahead and just remove these. This is this is my build. And I'm not being biased. It's actually really good. I'm not being biased at all. I'm not being biased at all. I'm for sure not being biased. You don't have to. You can have love by mana. You can have love by mana or monstrous reserves. It really don't matter. This is a this is a top tier build right here. Um. Another build I see people run is heavenly, heavenly restricted. No, heavenly restricted. Right. Lutharian. I would say this is a decent build, but it 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 lacks a lot also. It, like you have to like get close to the person. You have to get close to the person, sadly. And then I would say lightning. Lightning would be a per, would be an S tier build. I'd say it's neck to neck with my build. Neck to neck with it, but lightning leaves a lot to be required. Like I don't know, bro. It's like whenever I fight it, it's like it's so easy to like just evade, but it's really good at the same time. Like fighting anything else will give it a problem. Um, another one that you could run is Stonekin. You could run. I, I'm only putting this here is because you're more defense wise. You're more defense than anything else with this build. 
You, you could do stone can. You can do. You can do healing, and I would say this build would be good for like boss farm, um, boss farming. Do stone can healing, and then the trait. The trait could be heavily restricted also, but I don't have like too heavily restricted here. You know, I'm gonna see if I could take one right now. Uh huh. Just open another one. There we go. Got another heavenly restriction build right here. Another uh, another height. Well, this this what high arc has to say that, that nothing. I mean, he could go earth magic a little bit. You know, high arc with earth magic. I guess. Um, with this build, also you can run melody. You can run melody. It gives buffs. This is this is another S tier build. You can do this. You can do Dark Elf Flame since you do like a lot of damage, and you can do Love by Mana. This this is another S tier build right here. These are S tier build, builds. So all of these are saying at like their PvP levels are like around the same. And then you can run these. You can run this build Heavenly Restriction with Stone Can. You can do he um, healing, and you can do Melody to increase your buffs. Melody like increase your defense. Healing replenishes your health, and Stone King gives you more um, um, HP. Oh, I'm using the wrong one. Dark Elf. Mike, wait, hold on. I just look so. There we go. Dark Elf. Yep. Um, high Elf. I would have to give it like a B. Um, high, I said High Elf. Hybrid Elf. And you can run anything with this. It really doesn't matter. But I'll put Wind for the magic. I'll put Wind for the magic, and then you can go. You can go, what the hell? You can go, um, where is it? Love by Mana. You can go Love by Mana with this one. It's a solid right here. It's a solid. You can go Heavenly Restricted too, but I, you, you for sure be, you, sh you for sure won't be able to use half of the moves on this. Especially if this is 4 Leaf, you'll be straight with this build. Because you get the extra, um, the extra stats. The piercing and the extra mana, and you get the dexterity, intelligence, so you'll be able to make like a little hybrid build. It's not gonna be too crazy, but it's gonna, you know, that's why it's to be. Not too crazy. Um, yeah, and then for Reuman, Reuman could, like I said again, this is gonna be another S tier build right here. This, cause this would be super annoying to fight. This would be like mad annoying to fight. So I'm gonna go ahead and. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get healing magic. You're gonna do healing. Wait, do healing magic. Healing magic or human, and then what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? And then obviously you're gonna want some mana if you want to heal yourself back to full health. So you're gonna go love by mana. This video is almost 20 minutes, so I'm gonna end the video here. If y'all want a part two to this, I could do a part two. But yeah, these these are bro. These are like some annoying ass builds right here. Like love by mana, healing, and this, as you can see, broken. So it'd be Ryuman healing. And I love by mana, so you get a lot of mana to heal yourself, and you can use Ryuman when you're in like dire situations. It doesn't matter if you're getting hit, it still heals you. Um, love by mana, fire, dark elf. This is a broken combination. You can basically spam spells with this. Um, another one that you could run is lightning, Lutharian, and heavenly restricted. You're fast, you have dexterity, and lightning does a lot of stun. So, you know, you could combo chain with that. Um, Monsters Reserves, Mahari, and World Tree. That's the that's what I'm currently using, and it's really good for magic users. And you can go a little bit hybrid, you know, so you're not too bad with your hand-to-hand um, -hand combat. So hopefully I answered all your questions. This video was like 20 minutes long, you know. That's what you get for, I guess, um, a build video. I tried, to, I tried to, like, make it faster, guys. Really, I did. But hopefully I leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'm exhausted from making this video from y'all. And yo, please let me know, like, I answered all your questions. These are the best builds in the game. Like, honestly, the best builds in the game. Um, high Elf. You know, let me put something for High Elf. 
actually, I, let me just look at the stats again. I'm a little like brainwashed. And this is like 20 minutes, so it's gonna take mad long to post. Um, intelligence for two. Uh, all right. Since you get magic damage with this, also all da all magic damage. I'll say it could be an S tier with any magic you want. You can put. I'm gonna put blood. I'm gonna put blood next to it, and you would want. Um, you can go. You can go heavenly restricted, or you can go love by mana with this build right here. It really doesn't matter, and it could be any magic. It could be Royal Tree, it could be um, Lightning, Fire, well, I wouldn't say Healing, but Wind, any PvP magic, you know, so you can actually, like, hold your own, and you can use any, any like, trait you want with it. It's really up to you with this build, whatever trait you want. Some some builds are, like, you know, it, it leaves room for you to, like, you know, be, be flexible, be flexible and have fun with it. Some, some, some others are not. Like you cannot you yeah let me just end the video here leave a like comment subscribe because i can go i can go on about um builds bro i can go on and on about builds for sure leave a like comment subscribe catch you on the next video let me know if this video was helpful if it helped you figure out your build what you want what you plan to um get are you going to go for the s tiers there's multiple s tiers and there's some reasonable s tiers here that y'all can y'all can for sure get yeah y'all don't even need mythic races y'all can there's some um, legendary races that are pretty great also. As you can see, I got three legendaries up here. Three legendaries. We got an S-tier um, epic right here. We got an S-tier epic right here. So, you know, there's builds that y'all can, can run for. So, let me know. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, catch you on the next video. We're on the road to 3,000 subscribers. And then after that, we're on to 4,000 and 5,000 and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Peace.